Old Vic New Voices was started in 2004 when Kevin Spacey took over as artistic director of the Old Vic Theatre and it's the Community Education and Talent Development Department of the Old Vic. Schools Club works with 40 schools across the year. Any school in the M25 is welcome to apply. Um, we got uh, a leaflet through the post and I just looked at it and straight away, Old Vic, absolutely fabulous, lovely Old Vic. I've been there a few times and that blew my mind. What was on offer was also absolutely fabulous. I mean, the fact that we were getting to allow a group to experience four different pieces of theatre for free was an absolutely fabulous opportunity. Now we've been with the project for four years now. I just thought it was a really good opportunity to have professionals working with the kids and for students in this school to be able to go to the theatre on a regular basis without worrying about money. So yeah, it was a no-brainer really. I think it sounded quite exciting to be able to go to like theatre trips and stuff and also like because I'm doing drama for GCSE it's been an opportunity to learn more about drama. Schools select a group of up to 30 students to participate from year 9 to 13, which can be an existing group or a mixture of students. We have from year 9 all the way through to year 13, and the older students in this year group, they're like role models for the younger ones. Students get to come and see four productions across the year, and for that they get a pre-show workshop so they really fully understand the plays. What's really great about OVMV Schools Club is that it means we're giving full access to the theatre to young people who wouldn't necessarily normally be able to access it. And we give away 5,000 tickets a year for free, all the workshops are free, the resource packs are free. So it really means that there is no barrier to taking part. The workshops go through theatrical techniques which they can use in other lessons or GCSE and A-level productions. The workshop is already created and then we take that workshop and we test drive it. So we play all the different games as facilitators, we try the improvisations to make sure it's spot on before it goes to the pupils. And it's also, it can be scaled up through different levels. So if we've got a, a year 13 group, obviously that's very different to a year nine group. The facilitator's job is to support what teachers are already doing in schools and that's what our workshops really aim to do. I often think some facilitators that come in, that they're not very savvy with how a school works, but I think the beauty of the facilitators with the Old Vic is that they are professionals in the business, but also they understand how a school operates, so they're able to tailor make it for the students and at the same time to challenge them and push them. You are the leading entertainment of the shrew. You play the part Petruchia. We get into the room and we set it up very differently. So when the students enter the room, they're entering a different space. And then it's, it's an intense two hours where it's just non-stop. Uh, so by the end of the two hour session, we want you guys to create a musical for us. Okay. <laughs> the workshops go through the plot, characters, contemporary relevance. We also go through theatrical techniques, which they can use in other lessons. I like that it's like you don't have to be sitting at a desk with a pen and paper and like it's more creative, you get more freedom to move around and they're actually encouraging you to talk and be louder and which is completely different from in a classroom. The way that they're set out with the literacy on the walls, use of script, use of music and the devising, I think it just enables the students to take that on into other classes and just that confidence that they get to work with someone who's a stranger to them. Um, it kind of brings our class together, so we work well better. Almost the majority of hands up, you think it's going to be fairly innocent in the play? It's really important to us that this programme is kind of made in response to what students and also teachers want, which is why we see the same set of 30 students four times, because we can really see their development between each workshop. There is a benefit of working with a core group of students, because it's a really good way of monitoring the progress that they're making, and that becomes a really cohesive group as well. It builds trust, which is essential within, within drama, so the students see a face coming in that they recognise from before. And it's also about um, us seeing their growth. So we see from the start to the end their, their journey. We always usually attend students and I knew subconsciously that it would help, but I wasn't sure if it was measurable. And um, our head of department looked through some figures and she said, you know, I've looked at all the students that did the project, all of their grades have gone up. So for me, 
that speaks volumes really. For each production we do um, a teacher's pack and that entails a synopsis of the play, a breakdown of all the characters, we have interviews with the cast and designer and directors and gives a real insight into each production. Across the year teachers get the opportunity to access four inset sessions and they are programmed into relation to what the teachers want to learn about or feel that they need their skills refreshing in. The insets are amazing. I've been really pleased with the puppetry. It's something I've been badgering Hannah and Brian in the past to do. Um, the puppetry was awesome. I've embedded it into my practice. That was a, a really, really great workshop. The insets that I've had through the old Vic programme, and this is quite, you know, I'm quite sincere about it, have been really, really fantastic for me. I've really enjoyed them. And I think one of the things I really liked about it was that the lady running the workshop was incredibly knowledgeable. These sessions give teachers a unique chance to engage with industry professionals and companies and give them practical activities that they can immediately transfer into the classroom. My mum is a teacher in a secondary school and she has said to me for a long time, Abby, teachers do not get any input in how to use their voices whatsoever. What's really brilliant about the teacher inset is after we have a training session, I go through the notes of a training session. So that training is implemented across all of our classes, which is absolutely fantastic. It's really useful. We used all of the notes that Hannah had created for us and we've actually turned it into a scheme of work for Year 9 students. Building strong relationships with teachers is really important to the programme. Not only do we want to provide opportunities for teachers to network and share practice, we also want to give them supported access to the industry. That means that the larynx can be free and flexible. We feel it's important that teachers are able to feed into the process and shape the programme as it develops over the year. <laughs> they absolutely love it. <laughs> After each workshop, schools are invited to the theatre to see the productions. They've loved it, and it's particularly when we start in the winter and it's dark and you walk around the corner and it's all lit up. And for, for a lot of our students, they don't really go on tube trains very often, they don't come out of the area very often, so coming, just going to Waterloo in itself has been a revelation for them. Um, I think they felt a bit intimidated the first time, um, but the, the staff there, the, the ushers, been fantastic, you treat them really well and they see the other schools there and now they really enjoy it. When we first went in I was quite impressed like with all the decorations I was like wow this is fancy. Yeah it was quite yeah. pretty like the ceilings had a lot of detail on it. So. Even outside it was really like bright and really grand so I was like wow okay it's really good. And like you have something to do with your mates other than just talk and stuff. Hey. We're at the Old Vic Theatre. You kiss me, Kate. Yeah, we're very excited. <laughs> Being part of this project, it just opens students' minds not just to drama, but to literature, um, and just sort of to the wider world around them. <laughs> it has helped me to actually analyze plays better, which is uh, which I which is actually a technique I have to use in English at the moment. So it's kind of like cross curriculum I've literally seen students who are academically on the scrap heap and, and literally something like drama or dance or music saved them and quite a lot of them are working in some capacity in the arts. And I, and I, just, I just think it's really important to keep that going because otherwise they will never ever go to the theatre. Um, and we have to take responsibility and take them to see something and say, look, it's for everybody. It's not just for someone who goes to a private school or who has a different coloured skin from you or a different religion from you. You can all go. Would you like to keep continuing to go to the theatre? Yeah, definitely, with my mum. I've told her, like, ha like it's really it's fun and it's interesting. She said that we'll definitely go to the theatre together.